Today we're going to talk about how difficult it is to be Krishna conscious, but how much more difficult it is not to be Krishna conscious. So I get many letters from devotees telling me how they're struggling to finish their rounds, to even start to chant their rounds, they're struggling to follow regular principles, they're struggling to find time to read Prabhupada's books, and they're struggling, obviously, with their mind and senses. And the nature of the letter is both, what do I do, but also often, this is really hard. And I don't know if I can make it, and I don't know if I can continue doing this. And I reply with something that I read. I don't know who said it, but it went something like this. That people who are lazy or not successful will do things because they're easy, not because they're necessary. And people who are successful will do things because they're necessary, not because they're easy. And so I think this is the perfect statement for this situation. Okay, we're all trying to become Krishna conscious. We know it's difficult to control our mind and senses. But we know it's also more difficult not to control our mind and senses. As Prabhupada said, material life is, uh, Krishna consciousness is difficult, but material life is impossible. So what are the alternatives? So when we're saying these things like, this is hard, yes, I know it's hard. Prabhupada also knows it's not easy. But what is your alternative? Just because it's hard doesn't mean we don't do it. We do it because it's supposed to be done, whether it's easy or not easy. So that should be the mentality. This is what is supposed to be done. Okay, it's not easy. Nobody said it was going to be easy. You want to love Krishna. You want to overcome all this conditioning. It takes work. It takes effort to determine throughout life, throughout our life. And we can never give up. We can never stop. Because as soon as we give up or stop or weaken our effort, Maya comes and escorts us outside of Krishna consciousness, and that's when it becomes really difficult. So yes, difficult to control the mind. Yes, to control the senses, to control emotions, to maintain our faith, to be regulated, to chant with attention, to get along with devotees. Just go down the list of all the difficult things. But what's the result? We will get love of Krishna. And what's the result of giving up? You get another material body, and then you have to do it again. So you can't avoid facing the difficulty because if you want to achieve the goal, the end line, you have to go through the obstacles. You have to go through the obstacle course to get there. So if you give up now, you're still going to have to go through the obstacle course when you get back on the course, be it next year, next life, ten lives. So as Prabhupada said, and I've often said, just do it now because it's not going to be any easier in the future. Just do it now. Hare Krishna. Yeah.